let's practice a few problems. Let's simplify some expressions using our knowledge of like terms. Let's try this problem here. 5a squared minus 6a plus 7a squared plus 3a minus 2 plus 8a plus 7. Quite a mouthful. So when you have to simplify an expression like this, the first step is to identify like terms. You can see we've got 6a squared, sorry, 6a, 3a, 8a. All of these are like, these three terms are, are indeed like terms. So we can, com we can combine them. We can say negative 6a plus 3a plus 8a. All right, let's put that over in one spot. Got negative 6a plus 3a plus 8a. We know that the variable will be a, and then we just add up our coefficients. All right? Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3, plus 8 is 5. So we're going to have 5a. All right? Now that we've used these, I'm going to cross them out to let me know I don't need to think about them anymore. What are some other like terms we have here? We've got negative 2 plus 7. Number, no, numbers are like terms. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5. Okay, let's cross them out. We have them. And we are left with 5a squared and 7a squared. So 5a squared, 7a squared. You know that it'll be a squared, and then we add the coefficients to get 12. So here are, is our final answer. 12a squared plus 5a plus 5. Let's just do a quick recap of how you approach these problems. Identify all the matching ter like terms. I started with six, the, the a's first, a to the six, negative 6a to the first, 3a to the first, and 8a. Jo combine them. That's what gave us the 5a. Then do the same thing for the other like terms, negative 2 and 7, and then the a squared, and, and substitute them into the final expression. Okay. Let's try problem 4 here. 9x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x squared minus x plus 4x cubed minus 3x squared. You know the deal. Our first job is to identify pair sets of like terms. We've got a 9x cubed and a 4x cubed. These are like terms. So we can say 9x cubed plus 4x cubed is going to give us 13x cubed. Let's now cross them out knowing, so we can keep track of what we've used. Again, we've got a negative 7x squared, 4x squared, and a minus 3x squared. So negative 7x squared plus 4x squared minus 3x squared is going to give us negative 10x. 10 plus 4 is going to give us negative 6x squared. So let's cross these off. Minus x has nothing to be combined with, so it's just minus x. All right, minus x is all alone here. So then we just rewrite with our simplified expression. Done. OK, let's end this video tutorial with a more challenging problem. Let's combine this rather large um, expression here. So let's identify some like terms. We've got 3r cubed t. Do you see any other r cubed t's? No. So that one's going to be all alone out there. 3r cubed. I'll write the answer down here. 3r cubed t. What about 5r t squared? Do you see any other r t squares? r t, r t. Here's another rt squared. So we've got 5rt squared and 6rt squared, which is going to give us 11rt squared. Plus 11rt squared. Cross them off our list. How about other rts out there? Yep. So you've got negative 6rt. 4RT giving you negative 2RT. Cross them off, we've used them up, and we've got 5 minus 3 or 2. So this is the final simplified answer to this long one. So just a little a reminder, you can find um, 
more practice problems, including some games, um, some fun online games on like terms, as well as a free 25 question worksheet with answer key at mathwarehouse.com slash like terms. That's it for today.